Hello! As you are watching this video, I am probably in the small town of Eagle Nest, New Mexico. It might actually be a village. I'm not sure. It has a post office, so I guess that makes it a town. I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyway, uh, I'm there, and I'm teaching fourth graders about the Bible. So that's nice of me to do. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys when I get back on Saturday or so. And the thing. ago when I was unable to post my video on the right day last time, I was not here because I was at Lobo Orientation. Everyone's a Lobo! Woof, woof, woof! A lot of it was, you know, this is how you get scholarships. This is how you buy books. These are different organizations that are on campus. So, I mean, it wasn't, you know, unimportant stuff, but it was just, it was boring. We also did this fun little activity called the Wall of Prejudice. So we were broke up into random teams, and each team was given a type of person. My group had homeless people, there was also black people, white people, Asian people, uh, gay people, religious people, you know, just all sorts of people, right? We had to come up with as many derogatory terms for that type of person as we could. And it didn't have to be something we thought, it should be something we had heard of, or we knew people thought. And so we wrote them down, and we put them up on the wall, and then we walked around and we looked at them, and then we scratched them out. It was, you know, very... Some people were moved by it. Uh, if you know me at all, you could probably guess that I was not personally, you know, moved by it. Fun fact, Woody Burwell was in my group. Random. For the rest of the time, we were divided up into groups by our majors. Uh, I was in group 12, we were the fine arts majors. <laughs> The person I probably got to know best was this girl, Emily. Uh, when I first got there, we were like outside and stuff, and I saw this girl sort of over in the distance, and she had blue dreadlocks. And apparently I'm the only person at the entire thing who could tell they were not her real hair. But, like the whole time people were like coming up to her, Oh my gosh, is your hair real? Can I touch your hair? Is that your real hair? And I don't, uh, whatever, whatever, different story. Anyway, I didn't go over and talk to her, but later on she actually came to me, like as we were walking to our dorms, and she complimented my hat. And I noticed she had a Pokeball keychain on her backpack. And it was just like this thing. There was some bonding. We're both, you know, it was cool. Uh, later on, we were put into our groups and we're in the same group. And we found out that the two of us were pursuing the same major. And we're actually the only, like, drama people in the entire group. But that's okay. Most of them are, like, music people, I think. At the last meal thing we had, there was a bunch of people speaking and everything. And. She and I and this guy Jacob were much too busy doing important artsy things to actually pay attention. Uh, there were these little picture cube things, like a little cube with a thing sticking out of it, a picture on right? And um, we were taking those, like everyone at our table passed them down to us, and we started building like weird sculpture-y things out of them. The other thing I wanted to tell you is about Kimonet. It was fun, and, but it was, yeah, there was a point to that story I think at one point, but Look at this. That's all. That's all I got. Um, I ramble. But Emily and I will be taking a class together. We're taking stagecraft, so that should be good. I'll have a friend already. It's gonna be sad to say goodbye. We'll be back. Eventually. In other news, uh, I would say it's kind of official. Maybe that I might sort of maybe be kind of into anime again. I've been watching more and more of it this past year, and I think I finally just sort of crossed the line from like not hating it to being into it again. It's like elementary school all over again. That metaphorical line of, you know, there was Melody who was into anime when she was a kid, and then she wasn't into anime, and now she's into anime again. There's little lines that have been stepped over. Roz, you and I, in Yasha, will we get back? I think so. 